Hey, before I get started, I just want to say thanks to everybody that's taken a look at this tutorial. It is far and away the most viewed thing on my website, thanks mostly to Vincent Laforet for linking to it. But I've been using MPEG Stream Clip for a while now, and uh, I found a new feature that I thought warranted a kind of uh, reworking this tutorial. But first, the basics. Uh, how do you convert your H.264 movies coming out of a Canon 5D or a 7D so that you can actually edit them? Well, here's a uh, media folder that I have for a three camera shoot that um, we did. We had uh, two 5Ds and a 7D shooting a uh, U2 cover band called um, Zoo Station. They were a lot of fun. So this is how I work. The, each one of these folders represents one of the cards coming off the camera. So I have camera one, card one, card two, card three, camera two, card one and card two, etc., etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on camera two here. And uh, basically, what we have is we have some uh, some footage that's uh, quite large. If I if I uh, open it up here, you can see it actually opens up larger than my screen because it's it's uh, it's it's full 1920 by 1080. If I scale it down by hitting Command Zero to half size, you can see the whole clip. And if I do Command I on it, you can see that it's H.264 1920 by 1080, but as most of you know, that just doesn't edit well. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert it into something that's more uh, edit friendly. All right, so what I want to do here is I'm going to go to uh, MPEG Stream Clip. I'm going to use Spotlight. So just start typing the name of any app you want to launch. So it's MPEG, there we go, MPEG Stream Clip. Hit the return key and it launches. Uh, here's your playback viewer window in MPEG Stream Clip, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use the batch list and uh, this is where you do all your work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview some files and decide, oh yeah, there's a great shot. I want to, you know, I want to uh, convert that one. Here's another shot of the, of, uh, the guys, Bono's off the stage at that point. Uh, maybe come down here and there's a close-up of the mic. He's probably going to step in there and sing. So let's take, a, let's take three or four shots here and drag them into our batch list window. Okay, now the first window you get is this is this dialog. What do you want to do? Well, MPEG Stream Clip allows you to do a lot of different things, but primarily what we're going to do is we're going to export to a QuickTime movie. We don't want to join them, and we're not dealing with time codes, so we're going to leave these two unchecked, and we're going to click OK. Then the next thing you do is you pick where you want to store the stuff. Now, if you look over here, you can see I have my camera one, camera two, and camera three folders. And then I have a converted camera one, converted camera two, and converted camera three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shots that I convert, put them into there. You can see they're 0K now. Eventually, those are going to get really big. But I was working on camera two, so I'm going to put those in the converted camera two folder, and I'm going to select. Now here's your real working window. This is your movie exporter dialog box and this is where you get to decide how you want to convert the files. Now I've been through this before and I actually enjoy working in DVC Pro HD 720p. And by selecting that as your compressor, it basically sets everything pretty much the way you want it. Um, now, that being said, you can work in any codec you want. If you don't want to work in DVC Pro HD, Fine. You can work in uh, ProRes. There's the new ProRes files, the HQ, the Proxy, the LT. I've seen some really nice stuff done in ProRes 42 LT. Um, I just find the ProRes file a little chunky for most of the stuff that I'm dealing with. Plus, we shoot a lot of footage that's DVC Pro HD 720p already. So it's kind of nice to just have everything about the same. So by selecting DVC Pro HD 720, um, 60, um, this is the dialog box. And the only couple, there's only a couple things I want to change. I'm going to change the quality to 100%. I'm not sure if I've ever seen the difference, but it just feels good doing that. And under sound, I'm going to go uncompressed stereo, 48 kilohertz. I'm going to leave the frame rate alone. That way it's just going to pass the frame rate that's actually in the file. And the other thing is because we're shooting progressive, I want to deselect this. Now, once I've done that, it's pretty easy to come down here and make us. A, a preset. I actually have one for 5D Mark II to DVC Pro HD. So it's pretty easy to just go ahead and make your own presets and, and you'll use that all the time so you don't have to think about all these individual things. The next step is to say send that to batch and you can see here's my four movies which came from here. Uh, I started at 43, uh, uh, excuse me, 5493 through 
54.96. So I, I ended there. All right, and they're waiting to go. They're just sitting there all dumb and happy, ready to be compressed. So the next thing you do is you just hit go. Now, the, one of the beauties of MPEG Stream Clip is that it's really fast. And these movies, um, they just churn through really quick. Much faster, you can convert a card full of data much faster than you can actually um, shoot a card of data. So you can have this going in the background while you're working if you want. But here's the new tip that I want to show you. While this particular file is, all, is, is sitting here compressing, I might want to take a look at my folder over here, and by using um, Quick Look, I can just select another file, hit the space bar, and go, yeah, that's kind of a nice shot. I'm going to want to use some of that. Let's say I come down to the next one. I look at that one. There's the band. I might skip over that. And let's presume, you know, I, I actually know what the shots are. You know, you shot it yourself, or you have a good log. So anyway, I'm going to take a couple of more shots. I'm going to grab those guys, and while this is already compressing in the background, I can drag new shots into my window over here, okay? I'm going to drag some new shots into the window over here, and when I do that, I get, the, I, I get all the same dialog boxes that I've just been through. Do I want to convert it to QuickTime? Yes, I do. Do I want to put them in my converted camera 2 folder? Yes, I do. Do I want to... Now, this is nice. The movie exporter has all the settings that I just used. So I don't actually have to think about those again. So yeah, do I want to convert them the same way I just did? Yes, I do. Send them to batch. And look at that. Now they're waiting to, to go. So that's a nice additional feature of MPEG Stream Clip because, face it, sometimes you shoot so much data, you know you don't want it all. And this allows you to kind of go through it and sort of cherry pick some shots one at a time and say, oh, yeah, that's kind of nice. I want to drag that guy over. So I drag it over, and I'm going to do the same thing. I drop it in. Now, sometimes it doesn't actually drop into the window. I think you have to have it highlighted. At any rate, there we go. We drop in another thing, and, and it again, starting from scratch. Yeah, I want to make it a QuickTime movie. Yeah, I want to put it there. Yeah, I want to use the same settings. Boom. I got a new uh, file sitting there ready to process. So that's MPEG Stream Clip. Thanks for watching. If you ever have any questions about uh, you know, specific things that you can't figure out, feel free to email me. I'll make you a custom tutorial too. Have a great day. Bye.